Welcome back. Friday means it's Roadie Roundup time. And as we bring guests in to talk about the latest buzz topics, I love having people here that are so much fun. So I'm going to kick it off with Ryan Belmore from What's Up Newport, the one and only Ashley <laughs> Erling, our fearless leader, the executive oh, producer of The Road Show, nice. and Frank O'Donnell, <laughs> local comedian, and Rhode Island Comedy Hall of Fame. Oh, yes. Brendan told us this. Yeah, well, you know, Brendan tells stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't lying, though. <laughs> no. No, not a liar. <laughs> no. All right, so we're going to kick it off. So many of us have morning routines, and studies say that most of us grab our phones first. What do you do first thing in the morning? Because you're not supposed to grab your phone first. Frank, I'll kick it off with Coffee. you. Coffee. Coffee? I have to have coffee. So you I'm do sorry. that before you grab your phone, anything? Mostly. Yeah. yeah. Unless something, you know, occurred to me overnight that I need to check my phone. But yeah, it's got to be coffee. So the coffee, I'm sorry. that's your go-to. Yeah. Ashley? I, I grab my phone first because it's my, <laughs> it's my alarm. So I hit snooze usually yes. a couple of times. But <laughs> when the first alarm goes off, I usually will turn on the TV and turn on the news. And I feel like that kind of helps me wake up and know what's going on. Yeah. And then I don't look at any social media or anything when okay. I grab my phone. I do see if anyone texted or like, you know, if anyone called out yes. or anything like that. Any like little fires As you're keeping you your fingers crossed that nobody did. <laughs> but then I don't look at my social media until I actually get into work. Ryan, what about you? Because obviously your business, you need to know what's going on. Yeah, I do pick up my phone, but I think the only right answer here is turn on channel 12 and uh, catch up on the latest <laughs> news. You. Yes. Thank you. Thank uh, you. But yes, my phone, it's the alarm clock and uh, checking to see what happened overnight with news and uh, the hundreds of emails and phone calls and whatever else happened overnight. Now, so, do you yeah. weave through all those emails immediately or do you let yourself at least get up? Grab a cup of coffee, walk around. I go through them pretty. I go through them. Normally, I have a bad habit of waking up in the middle of the night and going through them oh, as yeah. well. No, yeah. no, no, don't do that. Yeah. And then you, that's, I, I've done that, and then I can't fall back asleep. That's yeah. The problem. Well, then it's do I get up at four or do I get up yeah. at five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. it's true. You go back and forth. Yeah. So we talked about today a Brown University student just won Jeopardy, $100,000. And then we had a Survivor contestant on recently that was on the show. So my question is, if you could be on a reality show, Ashley, I'm going to mm -hmm. kick it off with you first, what would it be and why? I would want there to be like a real somethings of Rhode Island. I'm not a housewife, <laughs> so I it can't be a housewife, I guess, but real uh, something in Rhode Island. I can't, I don't want to do a competition show. You would not want to do I that? I would be out immediately. Would you tap Survive, out? No, I wouldn't would I just out. would be. Okay. Like, I, I don't have survival, survival skills. <laughs> Obviously, I would not do well on Jeopardy. Wheel of Fortune, maybe, but the pressure would get to me, and I would <laughs> immediately just, like, say the wrong word, even though I know the right word. So it would have to be just, like, a life, reality show like Vanderpump Rules we're all watching Vanderpump yes. Rules like something like the 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 real people of Rhode Island all right. following us around all right. and that's it and it might be a good show that after hours just we the, could put the together Rhode Island drama I love that right? Ryan what about you reality I, show uh it would be one of those travel shows the okay. that's a better answer. The, yeah that's a better the amazing answer. travel <laughs> shows <laughs> one of those or um one of my uh secrets is watching the uh TV shows where they rehab houses and oh yeah yeah, those maybe are, one of those yeah. as well. So. so if you could travel anywhere, if you went on a travel show and they said to you, like, where would you want to go? What would be, like, your biggest, most amazing destination to be sent to? Oh, man, that's a good question. I am going to go with uh, Patagonia. Oh, yes. okay. That's great. Now, Frank, what about you? I feel like you'd be great on a reality Patagonia show. Patagonia exists? <laughs> yeah. I thought it was just clothes. <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to play off of Ashley a little bit. I want to be on Survivor Rhode Island. Ooh. If you can get through a whole day without coffee, milk, Dells, or a hot <laughs> wiener, you're all set. <laughs> That would be. That's, that's that how you I, feel, yeah. I feel like it would. Rhode Island is so Rhode Island, yeah. it needs its very it specific does. own reality show that does not exist. And there again, it's beer. We have to have that. Beer. <laughs> yeah, and how many places can you get coffee milk? Like in Pittsburgh, they looked at me and got this crazy when I asked <laughs> they go, for what? it. what? Yeah. <laughs> you want milk in your coffee? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the last question, and Ryan, I'm going to get off with you. Now, Jamie Lee Curtis just missed an Oscar nominee dinner because it was too late. So question is, are you an early riser or a night owl? Because she said, it's just way too late. I get up in the morning and I get going. I am an early riser. Are I am a uh, 4 or 5 a.m. Wow, um, early. I am normally falling asleep around 7.30, 8 o'clock, begging my wife to let me go to bed by 9. Um, normally <laughs> we're having dinner, watching TV. Like, oh, I think it's late enough. I, I can go to bed, right? So, oh, I love it. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in bed by like 9. All right, Frank, what about you? Well, considering that I read your email this morning at 2 o'clock, uh, I'm going to so say done. Night Owl. Yeah, I'm, I've always been. I usually am not in bed before 1. 
Wow. It, but it's, wow. The, you know, when you do comedy and you're doing yeah, stuff you're at to, night, I'm up. You yeah, know? Absolutely. So, and it's tough to go to sleep after a show. Oh, yeah, because you're all yeah, that you're energy. You're all jazzed up, yeah. So, oh, wow. night all. Ash, what about you? I don't even see one on New Year's. So <laughs> Ryan, Ryan is my people right here. Yeah. I, I always have been an early riser. I like getting up in the morning. I'm productive from the second I wake up. I have energy. I would much rather do things first thing in the day and then chill out in the afternoon. And when Jamie Lee Curtis said this, I was like, Thank Bravo. goodness. There are people out yes, there who yes. would love a matinee. See? Please. <laughs> I love it. Well, listen, thanks, everyone. I so appreciate you guys coming in. It was great catching up with you on the Roadie Roundup panel today. Still